Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all are doing well. Today is just going to be another little uh, breakdown video. It was supposed to be a cookup, but the recording got messed up and it didn't record the desktop audio so you couldn't hear the beat while I was making it. So it was just me talking over the footage of FL, which is useless. So I'm just going to go ahead and break it down instead. But yeah, this beat's uh, loosely based around a leak I heard from Don Tolliver. It's more of an up-tempo R&B kind of thing, almost like Euphoria off his Heaven and Hell album, but like a lot more upbeat 808s instead of a synth bass. Um, so like basically not at all like it but like it at the same time you know what i'm saying so yeah a couple little plugs before we get into it make sure to go check out my sample kit i just dropped with scandy it's called silhouettes it's got 15 samples in there all over a minute long also be sure to go check out my vertigo drum kit you can use this code for 20 percent off of either of those kits but yeah enough advertisement let's get into the beat all right, so I went with 154 BPM. I just started with this pad, which was this preset in Analog Lab. It comes from the Loophole Deluxe Bank. It's called the Exit Pad. I did bounce it to audio, but this is the same chord progression. Super simple, it's just a 154 with sevenths. This is what that pad sounds like with no effects. So it's already without effects, super like vintage and old sounding. So I didn't have to do much. All I did was the anti-phase preset and effect rack. And then I brought the mix down on the mixer, a little band pass, and then a side chain with mixer or shaper box. So it just makes it even older sounding and buries it in the mix a little bit. Next thing I added was this one shot from Nami's new kit. I put it on the stretch mode so that no matter where on the scale you play it, the note's going to be the same length. Um, that's super helpful for using one shots. Without it, it can get kind of messy. Same exact chord progression. This one I think is just an octave higher and then I strummed it with Alt S in these settings. Kind of went crazy on the effects because I wanted to give it a really vintage kind of unique sound. So I threw J37 stereo on the aquarium preset but I brought the delay all the way down and the low pass down. I use this preset all the time. That's why I saved it like this. Then in the main part of the beat, there's a micro shift on the lead vocal clarity preset. In the intro, I have it automated to be off and then it turns on once the hook hits. That's just to like give some variation. In the intro, it's kind of like closed off and centered. And then once the beat hits, it like spreads out. And I think it sounds pretty dope. So I did that. Then we have a vintage verb default preset. Just brought the mix down to about a third. Comeback kid on a half note dotted. Just messed with some knobs. Brought the low cut down. Or the high cut, sorry. A little high pass. And then a stereo shaper on the stereoize one preset, which is also automated to this same automation clip. And if you want to automate two things at once with like one automation clip, go into the mixer, right click the knob you want to automate. Go link to controller and then internal controller you just select the one and then it will be automated by the same clip so that's pretty cool i've been using that recently i just found out about that and then finally we just have a reels i think this is just the default preset and then i brought the mix down to about half so with all of that which some of that's probably unnecessary but i liked how it sounded so i kept it Then I went ahead and layered the pad. Um, this is just another preset from the loophole bank. It's called Immortal with no effects. It's just another little profit pad that sounds pretty old and vintage. I threw a speaker on it on the high model. It just brings out the highs even more than a stereo shaper on the stereoize preset. An RC20 on Vinyl 3 with the noise brought down. And then I found a preset in Portal that I liked. It's called Arpomatic, but I brought the wet way down and then I brought the pitch quite a bit down. Um, it was just way too much with it all the way up, so I brought those way down with effects. So it's pretty buried in the mix, it just adds some shimmer on top. Then after I had those, I found this vocal kind of loop chop thing in Nami's kit, which sounds like this dry. And I actually, so I pulled that into the playlist and then I manually chopped it up just like that pretty much until I came up with this chop I was happy with without effects. Mm -hmm. 
then I went ahead and threw a thermal on it. This is the dreamy lo-fi piano with these knobs brought down and the wet brought down. Then a bandpass, just a simple delay, and then the shrinked preset and stereo shaper. Uh, if you can't tell, I like to mess with the stereo space a lot. I think it adds a lot to a beat. So I have that low version of that chop, and then I have a high version that's just the octave higher. And then I just copied this little section and I pitched it up one more octave higher in a different mixer channel. And then I edited the delay a little bit so that it's kind of like an octave delay. And then second to last was this lead, which somehow I ended up deleting the pattern for it. But it was just a lead one shot out of Nami's kit that I just messed around and found a pattern I liked. And then I exported it and reversed it. And that sounds like this. And for effects, that same thermal preset, a delay to roll off some lows and highs, another J37 with that same aquarium preset, an ambience on the dark rimber room preset, but I brought the pre-delay to zero and the width down a bit, then a high pass, a pro Q3 to get rid of some harsh frequencies that were kind of taking up a lot of space, and that was it. And then I have a low version and a high version of that. So that just kind of sits in the background and it adds a little bit of texture. Then another analog lab. This one is the modulate texture preset. It's from the factory analog lab. And I just did a simple little pattern that sits on top of the chords pretty well without effects. It's kind of a harsh, annoying sound. And then with effects, I kind of just cleaned that up. Default reels, stereoized it, band passed it. Then I used a pan man to pan it left to right, a G-Hertz wow control. Echo Boy on the reverse strummers preset just brought the mix down quite a bit. And then apparently just a flat EQ that does nothing, so. <laughs> so it's just some more high sparkly sounds in the mix. And then there's finally just this pluck, which is just a one shot which I added a bunch of reverb to, did a band pass, put some RC20 on it. I um, used fruity delay this time, quarter note delay that pans back and forth because of ping pong and that pan knob. Another stereo shaper and another pan man. This one's on the pendulum, pendulum pan preset. So it just bounces back and forth. So yeah, that was pretty much it for the melodic elements. Some of those together sound like this. I wanted to keep it simple because Don Tolliver kind of beats leave a lot of room for his like weird vocal inflections and melodies and I didn't want to take up too much space from that. These vocals I kind of debated putting in here at all because they do take up a bit of the space that the artist is going to want to take up but I ended up leaving them in just because I like how they sound. If an artist were to use this they might take them out. I'm not really sure but you know it's up to them. So then onto the drums. First thing I added was the synth bass, which is just a bass out of Nami's kit. Trimmed it. I have just found this trick out from View. I used to do this whole thing where I'd go into the audio editor and I'd set a loop point, but I found out you can just use the crossfade knob to make a bass sound just like loop infinitely. So that's super cool. Just find a spot where it looks like it stays pretty steady throughout. Like that looks pretty good. And then I came to the envelope, squared it off. I threw a kickstart on it, brought the mix down a bit, and then used this preset in R C20 brought the distort up, turned on some noise and some digital distortion, and that pattern sounds like this. Just follows the bass notes with a couple of those um, little like passing tones. They're not passing tones, but that's like the function they serve. Under that, I added this little texture, also from Nami's kit. Seriously, go get that kit. It's fucking crazy. Pitched it down, just stretched it to be four bars. Then I shrinked it in Stereo Shaper, threw some reverb on it, threw a phaser on it, and then just cut out the lows. Next up was the 808, which is just this perfect 808 from Holy's kit with the out brought way up. And then I mess with the stereo um, imaging a bit 
with it in the Ozone Imager, and then I also tuned it with G-Tune so that it would be on on key. It was a little sharp to begin with, so I brought it down a bit. Same thing, just followed the root notes of the chords. With a little bit of a triplet roll here that ramps up in velocity. With a passing tone. Layered a kick over that. This is also from Holy's Kit, but I brought the out way up again just to shorten it. And then I threw this EQ on it. Then I went ahead and added this snare. And a couple of rims. This simple hi-hat that hits on the one and the five just has a little reverb on it. And then this open hat here, which is just squared off and then shifted quite a bit. And I just have it to cut off right before the snare hits. And that also has a little bit of reverb on it. And then I went ahead and did the hats. Um, I wanted like a really harsh like high hi-hat kind of like what was on After Hours a lot in songs like Escape from LA stuff like that so I think I got this out of an Oz kit because his hi-hats are always like that super high and clicky not all of them but like he has good ones that are high and clicky I started out by just filling each two notes just a half step hi-hat pattern and then I went in and I edited all the velocities by hand which took a hot minute but I wanted a nice little groove to it so that it sounded like someone was actually playing it instead of just like robotic on the grid so that's what all that is and I also pitched some of them a little differently did some rolls and some velocity variation in those rolls for effects just another shaper box brought the mix down it just adds some more like pumping feeling gives it a little more life stereo shaper on the shrinked preset but I brought the mix down that just spreads it out a bit then there's a looperator on it and I just have it to do this kind of cool reverse thing into a reverb then in the second half of that I mess with like the timing of some of the drums so like the 808 and kick keep going along with the, that texture and the first rim but the um, actual snare comes in late and then the hi-hats come even later. So it's kind of a delayed drop, which adds a cool effect, especially when there's vocals on it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the drums as well. After that, it was just a lot of arranging and some like crashes, risers, stuff like that. So there's just this little crash that hits every time the drums come in along with this whoosh. Um, there's also this uh, lighter whoosh that brings the synth bass in. And then there's a swell that transitions out of the drums into this um, kind of like pre section with the synth bass. Just a few arrangement things beyond that, like taking things out and bringing it back in, making sure no two patterns are the same or no two eight bars in a row are the same. There's a couple sections where like hi-hats will drop out and then come back in, stuff like that. That all comes with experience and just listening to songs and knowing how the structure works. I'm still getting there on that. I would tell you more about it, but I'm pretty bad at it, so. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I will play the finished beat right after this. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you like this beat, if you want to see more, if you want to see something else, make sure you comment and let me know. Like and subscribe as always. Go check out my kits, Vertigo and Silhouettes. I will leave links to those in the description. Remember, you can use this code for a little bit off of those. Go check out my main channel where I post a lot of beats. Stay up to date by following my Instagram at prod by underscore instinct. You can also always DM me there with any questions. I always try to respond to those. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Till next time, peace. Go gentle.